J.J. LeMayhew, who has a base hit today. And maybe another one. This one is pretty well tagged into the gap. Oh, what a diving catch by Matt Goulon. He came from nowhere and sailed through the air. He just came right into the picture. See the ball going through the air right there. Perfect layout, perfect slide. I love that one right there. It's right into your screen. Terrific camera work here from everybody. And Matt Goulon scores a 10 on that catch. Season ticket redemption night. The high school teams were not done. Matt Gula sends the deep drive to left center field. That's over the scoreboard for a three run home run. Tying the game at 4 4. Gula home it again with a grand slam in the fourth. And the Cajuns win 11 to 8. They're playing some good baseball in the last weekend, spoiling UNO's chances. Of and, you know, you brought in Gula. Gula was able to get back into the lineup to, at the beginning of the week. I know it's more than Gula that's changed the approach for your hitters. Your hitters are really swinging the bat with physicality right now. Well, the thing Gula did is he, he gave us identity. I mean, that's the one thing that we've been lacking is identity because most of our identity guys were on the bench. And uh, now we've got two of them back right now. Olison getting healthier because we knew he was a guy that could really get us going. And we knew Goo was one, too. And so we're putting him back in the lineup. We haven't lost yet. And a lot of people might say, well, you know, well, one guy can't do anything, but a clubhouse guy and a leader can. Well, and yeah. Pitch. Here's a pitch sliced down the right field line. Goulon gives chase. Wow. Did he catch that? He caught it. Yes, he did. Diving over the wall to make the catch. He got a lot of help. Wow. Also from the fans down the right field side. Coach Cottrell is beside himself over at the first base. He's running down to talk to the umpire right now. He's walking down to say, who called that? Them or you? <laughs> By Matt Goulon, you see right here on the Morgan Keegan profile, from New Iberia, a freshman, great play by him. Take their way, and you watch it again here on the Slimco replay. As Goulon makes the catch, and actually he made the catch with the foot still down yeah. on the gravel. So he was, that was more well within fall. the field of play. More of a fall into the bleachers than a jump. Up last time. And a breaking ball is hit hard into right field. Mars over, over, over. is his second four-bagger of the tournament. Well, a huge home run for Gula. And that is, uh, that is exactly what the Cajun... 
pitches want. When you bring in a reliever, you want to be aggressive early in the count. It was a hanging slider that he was able to take the opposite way and hit it about 340 out to right field. That, that breaking ball didn't. There's a pitch reaching for it, drops it into short right field, and Gula with a diving catch makes the play. On that play, as you watch it again here, very aggressive diving and making a shoestring catch. have had a pair of outstanding defensive plays. Look out. It's this from the left field and it's a deep. Look out. Edmondson back at the track. Yeah. Looking up and it is gone. Home run. <laughs> look a look a look -a. Second round trip of this year. Only the second. Good game for ULA's pitcher Zach Osborne. He gets some help from his defense here with a runner at third, Justin Guidry. Sends the high fly to right field. It's caught by Matt Gulaw for the out. The runner tags. Gulaw fires to the plate. Chad Kiefer makes the tag for the out. Hot player of the game, Matt Gulaw. Four base hits today. Four big knocks, and he did it a number of different ways. Right here, he powers this ball to the wall. Comes back in the sixth inning. Another shot into the gap. Then finally in the eighth inning, he decides to, to work the other side of the field, goes to right with a hard smash into right field. Four for five, a couple of singles, 14 hits for the Raging Cajuns' entire team. You get an unconventional DP, Matt Rice, lines into right. Matt Gula makes the great play in right center and doubles up Kess Carter in the sixth to squash the topper's threat. Cajun. NCAA regional. If we make it to a regional, we know we're going to have to play some teams uh, of that quality. And, um, you know, and it's also good to have the close games because you're going to play those close games in the playoffs, and, you, and it's good to come up on top, especially come from behind like that. The Mike Mitchell back with uh, another player profile and uh, this part of the coaches segment. We're going to talk to Matt Gula. Matt, uh, welcome to the program. Thank you. Glad to be here. All right. Uh, proud of, uh, of that new Iberia and Franklin heritage. Yeah, I was uh, born and raised in Franklin for 14 years. My sophomore year in high school, I moved to New Iberia and went to Catholic High School over there and enjoyed every bit of it. I'm glad to be here in Lafayette now. Let's go back now. I mean, you're a junior uh, presently, but uh, a few years ago, it probably seems like yesterday, you were being recruited to be a, a raging Cajun. How, how did all that, that happen? Yeah, um, well, my junior year, I actually didn't get recruited until I went to Georgia to play summer baseball. And it's, it's funny how I went all the way to Georgia to get seen, but yet I'm just 30 minutes away from here. So yeah. it's a cool story. But anyway, um, Coach Chef seen me out in Georgia playing in East Cobb tournament and um, he showed interest in me and I always wanted to be here because as a kid I've always come here and watched the Cajuns play and it seemed like every time I came they were winning and the crowd went wild and I just wanted to be a part of that one day and I set that as one of my goals in high school and as soon as I got that opportunity from Coach Chef I jumped right on it and I committed real early. Uh, a few other schools Midway through the season, uh, kind of uh, you know up and down so far. Um, kind of give me your thoughts on on the rest of the season, uh, the way you see it. Yeah, well, we can only go way, one way from here. We either break down and give up, or we're gonna break through and start a winning streak. And I know we're not giving up as a team, and I'm not gonna let that happen. And I think we have good things to come. We have a long season to go, and uh, we just gotta turn things around. I know we're capable of doing it. We have the talent here. And and also, we care. We, we don't like losing, and we're not going to accept that ever here. And we're going to turn things around and continue. We're going to win. I think we're going to win. About you, that uh, maybe the uh, 